So, Renee, before we let you go, you know, we wanted to talk to you about this. I, I think you've been out marching with your kids and thinking about what's happened in our country over the last couple of weeks specifically and getting out there. What did you what did you feel? What was it like to be in the march? It's, it's crazy because uh, when we first escaped to Connecticut, it, we felt like we won because we were all hiding from a virus. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then, you know, Breonna Taylor and George Floyd was murdered and we and all of a sudden being out here felt like we were disconnected in a way that was unacceptable. And I kept seeing this image um, that I think will be iconic of this time, which is uh, this diverse group of people protesting with a Black Lives Matter sign and a mask on. I mean, that's, mm -hmm. I, that, I mean, we've seen like different images of, of, of protests and revolution and change and people coming together. But what's unique about this one is the mask on. It's the, it's the risking your life for something um, that kind of just was an about face for us because it became so important and I just couldn't hide. Yeah. And I and I did and I needed my children to have been a part of this, the possibility of the change that I believe is coming. And so we drove, I, we drove into the city, we drove to Harlem, <laughs> and we and we and we protested with the families that we raised our children with, and it felt like uh it felt necessary and i'm grateful that we did it i have to tell you um renee and i've said this before and ryan and i have been talking about it a lot these protests this time feels very different and you know over the years there have been so many different movements but this one feels in particularly united with all citizens across every spectrum across the every globe in check yeah. don't you agree I do, and uh, you know that's what's different. Honestly, this—that's actually the only thing that feels different because the, 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 the exhaustion, the pain. I mean, that we have felt is not new. It's it. You know, it happened when we were in Hamilton and Eric Garner, you know, was murdered. It's 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 uh, the thing that's new is this 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 feeling that everybody is searching themselves for uh, how they are complicit. You know, normally I think everyone is like looking at those bad, terrible, racist people. And oh. at this moment, everybody, everybody, black people, white people, you know, Japanese people, Australians, everybody is asking themselves, what do I need to do to make to make the changes yes. we need? And yes. that's the difference. And I'm yes. so grateful for that conversation. Yes, those conversations are so powerful and so, so needed right now. Thank you for coming on. It's great to see you. Happy Fourth of July weekend. Happy Fourth of July. Let's let's um let's celebrate all that's good while we change all that needs to be changed. Good for you. And Hamilton today. premieres tonight on Disney Plus. I can't Renee, wait. Take care. Well, and we'll see you at the family reunion Zoom tonight <laughs> <laughs> with Melanie. Bye. You're getting the credit, Kelly. Bye. <laughs> Bye.